Hi, and welcome back to the Plant-Based Quick Cooking Show. I'm Karen, and I come to you every week from the Center for Plant-Based Living right here in St. Louis, Missouri. And this week, I've got another great seven ingredient or less recipe for you. You're gonna love it. Okay, if you, did you grow up with eating those, um, those oyster crackers, those dilly oyster crackers? I used to love it when my mom made those things. Um, and I can remember her shaking the oyster crackers with the dill uh, seasoning or just the herb. And I don't know even what else was in that. Um, so today it's kind of a rendition on that. And we're using crispy chickpeas with dill and just a little bit, a little pinch of salt. So to start, we're just going to take a can of chickpeas and drain out the juice now, typically I will rinse off the juice from the beans and then use them in whatever ingredient or whatever recipe that I'm making. Um, but, the, but the aquafaba, so the water or the juice that's around these chickpeas, actually acts as like an egg and like an adherent. So what we're gonna do is just shake them out a little bit and we can discard the rest of this liquid if we want or you can keep it for another recipe and I'm going to transfer those wet chickpeas into another bowl. And because you're not rinsing them off, do make sure that you have a BPA can, lined can, BPA free lined can, and that they're organic. All right, so we have our chickpeas. I have an oven at 375 degrees ready to go. We've got a little pinch of salt and of course, my dill. Dill just reminds me of summer so much. It's so light, but it's really got a, this nice punchy kick flavor to it. So just add as much as you want. Throw the recipes down below. And shake it or mix it all up. And that dill sticks really nicely to it, to each and every little, little chickpea. To a page, parchment paper lined pan, Roll those suckers out. And we are gonna put this into the oven. It's going to bake, they're gonna bake for close to 45 minutes, but be sure to get in there and roll these little beans around every 15 minutes. And it's just to make sure that they are just evenly cooked. All right, I'm gonna get started and we'll see you in just a little bit. Okay, it's been just about five minutes shy of 45 minutes and I was really watching these the last five minutes or so five ten minutes or so because I don't want to over bake them I don't want them to be too hard I still want them a little soft on the inside so once they started to turn a really golden brown color and you know I would pick a couple off at a time um, and let them cool and then eat them and make sure that they're the consistency is right so this is the consistency that I like a tough, not too tough, a crispy shell, and a soft inside. And then as they cool, they will become a little bit more firm as well. So play around with this recipe. Use dill and a pinch of salt or any seasoning you want. And um, check your timing or play around with your timing also. So again, I did 375 degrees for about 40 minutes, checking it every 15 minutes or so. And once you get it right, you will never turn back. You'll always have these in the pantry. They're a great little snack, great for salads, all kinds of things. I really hope you enjoy them. They're a nice little treat. All right, I'll see you next time on another episode of the Plant-Based Quick Cooking Show. And if you're in town, come on by. We are in downtown Kirkwood. I'm back to giving full classes and I'm also doing them online. So check the graphic after this and sign up and I'll see you online. Take good care. Yeah. <laughs>